What is up guys, this is the Kumo Sensei here, and today we have another real life anime street fight. This time, it's the Drunken Master. So, here's the anti-hero of the story. This drunken Axel Rose reject. And yeah, he's off on a good start. Starting issues for everybody else around him. Move aside, Chu from Yu Yu Hakusho. This man here is the new drunken master. Just look at this man. He screams a threat aura. My goodness. He's more threatening than any villain I've ever seen. And now look at that. The protagonist in the purple shirt is now making his moves. Just watch this drunken master and his swish. Look at those moves. How does he evade him being drunk? He clearly has full counter from Meliodas. How did he learn that? And how can he use it being drunk? So many questions, so many unanswered. Oh my goodness, did you witness that? The protagonist backed off, not to mention the drunken master has called out his friends. That's right, the drunken master is calling the protagonist and his friends out all at once. He's ready to fight. This protagonist is screwed. How intimidating. He's willing to take on all of his friends at once. The power of friendship may not be enough. I can't have my own shit. Did you see that? How horrible. This is the weakest protagonist I've ever seen. Just look how he shoves his friends by the shoulder as a meat shield. Oh my goodness. Where have I seen this before? That's right. I've seen this in Attack on Titan. And also on the Tower of God. How would this fight conclude? Oh man, the drunken master has had enough. He's getting thrown around like a used rag doll. My goodness. Did you see that? Look at that technique. He kneeled back. This is Chu's technique from the Knife Edge death match in Yu Yu Hakusho. This man has learned more than we know. Oh my goodness. Look at that bang. This drunken master has banged onto the metal stand. And yet, he's still standing. This man is built different. Let's hear that again. To those that didn't hear it, let's go a third time. That bang is very loud. He has clearly taken damage. And yet, he still stands. This drunken master. This anti-villain. He's stronger than he's letting on. Will the protagonist even stand a chance? Just look at that technique. The drunken master has made a 180 and now he's standing on top. The protagonist's friends can't even help him. This protagonist is weak. So as his friends. The power of friendship is not in this fight. Yeah, 
My goodness, the power of plot has saved this protagonist just this once. Now he's back on top. But just know that plot armor only lasts for a moment. The drunken master gets back up. The power of plot is no longer with the protagonist. Luckily, the protagonist is saved because the fight ends around here. They both call a stalemate, and the drunken master goes off back home. This is just a grim reminder that this villain, this anti-hero, this drunken master, has not been fully been dealt with. He will return. This protagonist better prepare for the future. He's going to return in the future anime arc. That's what happens to villains that are not dealt with within that story arc. Meaning he's going to return in the future story arc. I am the Kumo Sensei. And this is a real life anime street fight with the drunken master. That's about it. See ya.